you will love this fish barbecue recipe trust me so this is tomato ginger this is garlic red or purple onion tatashe yeah, this tatashe i'll put the english name on the screen green bell pepper one medium sized white onion shombo i'll put the english name on my screen this is shombo spring onions scotch bonnet yellow habanero pepper so this is all i'll be using for the two fishes hey spicy i know i did not greet you you're welcome back <laughs> to my new subscribers thank you for coming back please hit the subscribe button click the like notification hit the notification bell share this video out drop your comment down below let's interact so i actually blended all this in a mortar do you believe me so let's wash our fish with lime and warm water and we'll also scrape i'll show you the process Look at all those slime that is coming out. You see why it's good to use your lime to wash the back. Also scrape with your knife and then use warm water. Some persons uh, like to skip one. Some persons will be like, okay, if they scrape and use lime, they'll just rinse. Some persons will be like, oh, if they scrape and they use uh, warm water, they are good to go. Whatever it works for you, but most of the times it's good to do the three process. You scrape the back, use lime to wash it, then you use warm water to rinse it off. It's very good to, to wash off the slime from the fish because all this this slime contains all the debris and dirt it gathered while it was in the pond or in the river. It depends. There's catfish, there's river catfish and there's pond catfish and we all know that. So you keep rinsing with your warm water until you are satisfied that it is thoroughly clean. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Remember that. So these are the spices I'll be using to fry the sauce. So that's my salt, my thyme, my signature cube, my paprika and curry. Yeah, that's it. So pour in your oil into the heated pan. Depends. I'm using firewood here because we have been on a firewood series. If you are a spicy farm you will know that we've been on a firewood series with mom and i decided to join her so i'm using the firewood to fry this sauce guys it tasted absolutely yummy there's there's a taste that if i would add to every food so once once you put in your sauce you keep stirring then you add all your spices there's no there's no ceremony to it add all your spices to eat I didn't get the smoked paprika in my area, so I just went with the normal paprika. I wanted to actually use the smoked paprika because the taste is usually very different from the normal paprika. Yeah, you guys, you know that it's, it's just today I got to know what they use to make paprika. <laughs> hey, they say if you don't read, you will not find out knowledge. Thank God I found out. So once you add all your spices, you keep stirring until you notice that your oil has come up and the sauce starts looking comfy. It even changes color too once once it's ready, if you noticed. Yeah, so you keep stirring so it doesn't burn. I told you guys that I use a mortar to crush everything you saw me chopping at the beginning of this video. Yeah. There was no light. Nepal decided to take light generally in our area and I had to find a way out. So I used the mortar. They say we should improvise and that is actually the spice of life. So you keep staring. Look at the, if you notice the color has changed. It's looking so attractive. You know, you can use the sauce to also um, coat or let's say dress your chicken if you are making uh, chicken barbecue. It depends on what you want. Ah, 
this color is just so inviting am i the only one that is feeling this so it keeps stirring until you feel it's dried enough and all the water is out and the oil comes up like this on top then you are good to go so make an incision on both sides of the fish so that it can allow you put in the sauce and everything you want to use to dress your fish so begin dressing your fish me i started with my soya spice my soya spice or soya pepper whatever you call it but it's actually spice because there are a lot of things that made up this powder you are seeing here so put in your soya spice rub it in properly some people wear gloves i didn't have a glove at the time so i had to use nylon then put the spice also on onto the guts of the fish then open the mouth also and put the spice in there it's the same process you repeat the same process when you are putting in the sauce it helps to allow the fish taste greatly trust me so like i said before Time to put in the sauce. I'll start by opening the mouth of the fish head. Is that correct? Mouth of the fish. Yeah. <laughs> I'll place the sauce into it so that it will penetrate the skin well. Like when it's time to eat it, you'll just be happy with yourself. So put enough, enough, more than enough. Then you take open the area where the gill is, rub it properly onto the gill let the gill have a feel of the sauce so that it penetrates the fish then once you are done with that are satisfied and you're done with that area then you go to the gut put the sauce put enough of the sauce this is what i did there i packed it and the thing dangling there is fish oil is it? I don't know if it's fish fat. Okay, fish fat, yes. So, fish fat is fish oil. Because uh -huh, it's from the fat to get the oil, yeah. So, it's fish fat. So, I left it because it makes... It tastes great. And it's also added to the oil for the fish, for the barbecue. Yeah, so... Then you put the sauce onto those areas where you made an incision. Rub it generously on it. When you are done, turn to the other side. Do the same thing. Then rub it all over the whole body. Some persons like to drop some sauce onto the foil, then wrap whatever you, you want. Whatever is your choice, you do. But this is just the best. So that your fish will taste greatly. You know, there's some so that, that sometimes we buy barbecue, we'll be like, this is not tasty. It's because they didn't take proper time in doing all this. And, and probably because it's mass production, so they just rush in doing everything. But because this is yours... And I'm encouraging you to do this at home by yourself when you have the time. When you are doing this, make sure to put attention to rubbing generously the sauce onto the fish. Repeat same process for your second fish or the other fishes if you are doing more than two. Place it in your oven or your firewood or coal pot. For me, I am using the firewood and I allowed it to sit on fire for 1 hour 18 minutes. At 45 minutes, I turned it from one side onto the other. Then allowed it to continue. Let's say grilling here. Yeah. So this fish was prepared under one hour 18 minutes thank you for staying till the ninth minute 34 second if you've not hit the subscribe button please hit that subscription button now drop a comment for me below i want to interact with you share this video out turn on post notification bell so that you're going to see more spicy and interesting videos like this i love you bye